Okay, so what is going on guys, and uh, recently in the forums, um, there's been somebody requesting a text kind of slider thing here, that when you slide across, it enables you to be able to use the carousels in a bit more of a better way, should we say. So, that's what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you guys how to basically get rid of these ugly black uh, sliders, and to change the colour of the asterisks here, uh, they're pretty cool as well, so yeah, let's go on with it. So first of all, what I've done is I've literally just gone in to Sketch. You can use any program of your choice. I've created kind of a wide artboard here. Uh, there's the sizes there. If you want to copy it, you can. Uh, basically, make it any size that you want to. So the bigger you make it, obviously, the bigger your carousel is going to be, pretty much. Uh, yeah, and then just export that in anything you want. And then add it to blocks as you would in any other as you would in any other way here, so there you go, see I've just got three that are the same, but of course you can add more, get rid of more, you know, do all the stuff like that. Um, so that's what we're going to do now, have we... So after you've done that, you want to export your product, I'm just going to go on desktop, that's done, going to minimise this, uh, oh, <laughs> Linus there, uh, um, then we're going to go on good carousel. Uh, we're then going to open up the style.css. Uh, open it in brackets. Open it in your favorite text editor, of course. It uh, doesn't have to be brackets. Uh, wait for this to boot up. Oh. And then you want to scroll down to where it says carousel, which shouldn't be too far. Might might be a different place depending on how far. So what stuff, how many uh, blocks you've got in your uh, document. And here it is. Here's your... Um, here's your uh, things, here's your the control if you like for uh, the carousel so then you want to do is copy this piece of code that I'll leave in the description uh, for example I'm just going to copy it because I can't bother to type it and so just dump it anywhere just uh, dump it below recommend putting it in the carousel so then you, it's easier to find and you know where it is um, so I'm just going to explain what this is so carousel control left and car carousel control right are the two highlighted bits you get either side uh, the background image none, uh, so I'll basically get rid of the uh, shading you get in the background and important, this is basically for Internet Explorer um, I'm not sure why Internet Explorer needs it for something, Internet Explorer is weird, I think we all know that uh, so that's for that, um, so let's just test, see if this has actually fixed it uh, see it has here, uh, one more problem is actually now we can't see the buttons the buttons have gone missing because we got a white background and the whole point of having the black was that the um, little arrows were, were white so they'd stand out against the black so we need to go and change that now as well and uh, I'll show you how to do that in order to do this what you want to do is come up into your and just go up a bit in the document you'll see dot carousel control not span go down to this one and you'll see color and I currently set to FFF uh, but if we just change this to black here just uh, so we know it stands out oh what does it get rid of black and we need to add an exclamation mark slash important so it overwrites the native bootstrap one. Oh, there we go and if we go into here and then you see you'll get your little black chevrons here oh they kind of a grey color but when you highlight over them they go black and there you go uh, you get nice nice arrows here um, now I'll, I'll put the link to this uh, blocks document in the description below, it will be a zip file so it will come with um, it will come with the code here needed to uh, add in the get rid of the background shadows it will also come with um, the, uh, the sketch template for the uh, background uh, for the actual uh, text thing and of course I include the this text text image so blocks can understand it. I think it's watching if you've got any more questions, leave them in the uh, comment section below on how to do this. I think it's a pretty nif nifty feature, uh, quite easy to do as well, if you just don't change uh, colour, you can put in a, hash, a hex value in here as well, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's not very not very much here. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, I think it's, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.